Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I've got a very different video for you guys. I don't know how you guys are going to like this. I don't know. But I love these kind of videos. I like watching these videos. I find them really relaxing to just put them on in the background when I'm doing editing or I'm doing whatever on my computer. Stick them on the background and just listen. And it's really, really nice. So I'm going to go through, since it's the season it is, and it is Christmas time or coming up to Christmas time and it's winter time and all this kind of stuff, and we're getting a bit festive, I thought it'd be fun to do a like it's 10 of my favorite Christmas movies but it's not really a top 10 it's not going to be like in order of how I like how much I like them but it kind of is in the order that I would tend to watch them not precisely but like I I have certain ones that I keep for like Christmas Eve I've got certain ones that I keep for um the day before Christmas Eve the week of Christmas the beginning of December those kinds of things but these are just 10 there is many more that I do like these are 10 you could say I cheated a little bit and I may have 14, but I've got my list down there. Um, the four other ones, one, two, no, three other ones, sorry, 13. Three other ones are sequels to ones that are on the list. So they're ones that you don't have to watch. I don't always watch them, but I do enjoy them as well. And they go with the whole kind of movie that I'm talking about. So let's get away from this intro let's continue before i start rambling properly because i'm already ramb ramb rambling rambling <sighs> it's too warm in this room and i should have brought a drink with me but i didn't so let's get on with the movies okay guys sorry to butt in here right at the beginning of the video but this is future carla this is editing carla right now it is currently almost three o'clock in the morning and I'm I'm thinking that I needed to put this in because it is the 30th of November and tomorrow starts the first day of our advent calendars so I have a slight obsession with advent calendars I've told people to stop letting me buy them because I keep buying them and um, I currently have five and um, one of them I don't have here because my mom bought it for me and she hid it somewhere so I'll let you know about that one, but we'll just get into it. I'll just pick these up and just give you a little look here. So I've got these guys here. Put them back down. Okay, so why I'm putting this in the video, I should probably explain that first, is basically I'm going to, on my Instagram, which I'll have linked down below, so go give me a follow on that if you want to see, I'm going to be opening day by day, as religiously as I can, opening each one of these calendars to show you exactly what is inside. And yeah, it's um, if, if I miss a day or two, because I'm going to be leaving these in my own house, if I'm in my boyfriend's house for a day or two, I will miss days, but I will catch up all of my Instagram story. You will see everything that comes in these calendars. And if not, you can give out to me then. So I'm just going to go through the ones that I have here. And the first one that I do want to go through is the one I don't have with me. Like I said, my mom has hid it somewhere because I don't know why. She just has, um, even though I, I know exactly what it was. So the first one that I have is the Clinique Advent Calendar for this year. Um, and I've had that one or well, a Clinique one like two years ago. And yeah, it's really, really good. Great little travel size stuff. I love some of Clinique skincare stuff like having the little ones as well because I can just test them out and then I can get them when I want to. So yeah, that is the first one. The next one that I have is the Sleek Advent Calendar. This is the Can't Wait Another Day Advent Calendar. So I wanted a Sleek one last year I think it was, um, but they sold out and that was when my mum bought like five Advent Calendars for me. Like cheaper ones but like she bought them all. <laughs> Um, so this is really, really cool. It's done out really, really nicely. Um, so I cannot wait to bust into this. I do use a lot of sleek makeup. And I am pretty sure that you get an eyeshadow palette in this one. I don't know. I think you get an eyeshadow palette in this. I've, I've seen some things. So that is the second one. The next one I wasn't actually planning on buying. And then I kept seeing it and I kept picking it up and I kept looking at it and then I bought it. Um, so don't judge me. This one here is the NYX, what are you called? Sugar Trip. It's like their Christmas collection theme. Um, it's a 24 days of beauty advent calendar. It was 62 euro. Um, I don't know what the value is though. I don't know. 
but you get it does show on the back of a lot of these what's in them um, you get a lot of lip products, you get some eyeshadows and some cheek stuff, which I didn't know the cheek stuff were cheek stuff, I thought they were also eyeshadows. Um, so there's a nice mix of stuff in here and I do love some NYX. And I'm just noticing now, the girl in the middle has got swatches on her arm, so like, yeah I know. Okay, this next one I, I kind of hunted down a little bit. My manager told me about it and one of the girls said she'd seen it. And then I went online to see if it was actually true. It was true, couldn't find it in any of the pennies or primarks I found. And then a girl in work who is awesome, and I love her. Found it in her pennies, brought a, bought it for me, brought it into work to me, and yeah, so, so happy about it. This is the Deck the Halls 25 Days of Disney Christmas Bubbles. Try not to get the glare. This is basically Christmas decorations um, from Primark, and they're little either Mickey Mouse ears or the gloves. Um, in different colours, different themes, different designs. Yeah, I can't wait. I am going to be using these on my little tree because my mum does the big tree and I'm not allowed to touch that and that's a whole ordeal. Um, I have my own little tree for my room and I'm going to use it on that. So I might even show you guys me putting the decorations onto my little tree. And then the last one is the biggest and the heaviest, I will say, of all the ones that I have. And is the glossy box all I want one? It opens with two doors, um, and it's all boxes on the inside. So I'm not gonna open it because it will fall, fall out and I will cry. Um, but yeah, this was expensive, but I was like waiting on it. I really, really wanted it. I waited until the day of, and I set an alarm and everything to remind myself to order, just so I knew to order. Um, but there's a good mix of things in here, so I'm very excited to give this a go. And it's, for me, it's the prettiest of them all. Or the most luxury looking one. Yes. I don't know, actually know which one is prettier. But I do really, really like this. I'm very excited to open this. So, like I said, I'm going to be opening these day by day-ish on my Instagram. On my Instagram story, so go give that a follow. I just thought I need to throw this in here now just so that you have it and you know exactly what's going on and go over to my Instagram, it's linked down below and give it a follow. Now let's continue on with the video. I'll go back to past Carla, let her take over. Okay, so the first movie I have for you guys is the movie Jingle All The Way. So this movie is with Arnold Schwarzenegger in it, so Terminator. Terminator and I don't know what his name is in uh Predator, because I've never seen Predator. Don't kill me. But yeah. Um, so basically Terminator. Um, he's in this movie. He's the star. He plays a dad. And he's like the dad that's like kind of always gone to work. And he, you know, the usual with Christmas movies, they're never there and they don't really spend that much time with the family and all that kind of jazz. And his little boy wants this toy for Christmas. And it's a specific action toy. Um, Turbo Man, I think it's called. Is that the name of it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's called Turbo Man. And he's going on a hunt to get this toy. And that's basically, I'm not going to ruin anything, but that is basically what the movie is about. Um, and it's really, really funny, really, really good. I love that movie. I haven't watched it in actually, well, yeah, a year. But like, I don't always watch it, but I love that movie. And it really reminds me when I was younger, we always used to watch that movie. So I love that movie. Highly recommend. Go watch it. It's very festive, but funny festive. So yeah, it's really, really good. Go watch the movie. So my next movie is Arthur Christmas. So Arthur Christmas is basically about the sons of Santa Claus. It's an animated movie, yeah. Um, it, this is a recent one on my list because it only came out in the past like, I want to say, a few years, but it could be more than that, but whatever. Um, it's basically, it, it's one that a few people, I heard them talk about it saying it's a really good Christmas movie, it's one of their favourites. So I watched it, it's really, really good, but it's only a new entry onto my list. And this is basically, like I said, the uh, Santa Claus has two sons and the North Pole is like run like um, like CIA operation so it's all like really like high tech and everything's really 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 advanced and everything like that and Arthur is the younger son and he's the kind of one who can't really do anything as in he's not good at anything and he's not good at you know running anything and like with the presents and all this kind of he's not good at it basically 
And the older son is the one who's like next in line to take over from Santa. He's the one that's gonna, he's able to do everything. He's really, really good, but really cocky as well. So it's basically a whole journey as to there's one present missing or one present gets left behind. It's not gonna be delivered. It's something like that. And yeah, it's that kind of journey. And Arthur takes upon himself to get that present delivered. So it's such a, such a good movie. And I always cry at the end of it as well. I, I'm a crier when it comes to movies, I really am. But I do love that movie. So go give that one a watch. Super festive again. Um, and really, really heartwarming at the end. I really like it. So my next movie is going to be Scrooged. So Scrooged is a comedy. Scrooge is, as you would imagine, about a Scrooge. And it's basically a more modern, well, at the time, more modern. I think it came in like the 80s or not, probably the 90s. More modern version of a Christmas Carol. So the Ebenezer Scrooge, but it's not Ebenezer Scrooge. I can't remember what his name is um, in the movie, but it's Bill Murray, basically. So it's going to be hilarious. It's hilarious. Me and mum love the movie. And it basically goes through a more modern take on the, you know, the ghosts of Christmas past, present, future, and all that kind of jazz. But it's a really, really good movie. Really, really funny. There's a really cool ending to it. I really like it. Um, me and my mom's favourite bit is the ghost of Christmas past. The little fairy who basically starts kicking the shit out of him. So it's pretty funny. We always love it and we love Bill Murray. So it's a really, really good movie. Really funny. Go watch it if you want to laugh at Christmas as well. Um, yeah. It's like classic 90s comedy, 80s comedy, Bill Murray comedy. It's great. Just go watch it. So my next one is one that I do watch, but not every year. Um, and I watched it last year for the first time with my mom. Not my first time I'd seen it. She hadn't seen it, though. She'd never seen it before. And it's the movie Love Actually. So Love Actually is basically... Um, Lots of different storylines happening, which sounds really confusing, but it's not. They're all linked up in some way. If you've ever seen the movie Valentine's Day, where like all the stories link up at the end, but it's a kind of a surprise how they link up at the end. It's a little bit like that. And that's kind of where they got inspired by it. And it's so, so good. Such a, um, there's like a tragic story in it with um, Alan Rickman. His story, you need to watch that part. There's a... I say tragic, but it's just kind of sad. Um, there's a really, really heartwarming one with Liam Neeson. Um, yeah, just lovely ones. And then one of my favourite moments is the most famous moment, I think, from the movie. And that is the the, the bit where um, Andrew Lincoln, who is, ow, who is, <laughs> my mirror is right there, who is Rick Grams from The Walking Dead. Yeah, weird, I know. And he's holding up the cards that tells one of the characters, how much he loves her and all this kind of stuff. That's my favourite part because, mainly because Andrew Lincoln is in it, basically. Um, and Keira Knightley, I love Keira Knightley as well. But yeah, need to go watch that movie. Such a good movie. Just nice movie to watch. It's just, it's just a nice film. We watched it on Christmas Eve, I think it was, last year. And it was so, so nice. Okay, so the next one is probably one that I would say if I was to do a top 10, it wouldn't be my number one or probably even in my top three and I would probably get like abuse for that because it's most people the number one movie and it's not mine though I don't know why I have other ones that just makes me feel more Christmassy it makes me cry more it makes me feel all warm and tingly on the inside Um, so this one is Home Alone so Home Alone is basically a kid that's home alone. He gets left behind on a family trip um, in his house. They they go on the trip without him. They forget about him and it's Christmas. It's the week of Christmas basically and he's thinking oh my god I'm home alone. I can do whatever I want. I can eat whatever I want. I can stay up till all hours. I can watch whatever movies I want. He's only a little kid. It's Macaulay Culkin and he basically he lives in this massive house and it's like full of really really nice things and these two guys want to break in and steal all the stuff and it's up to him to defend his house and that is all you need to know because after that the movie truly begins and it is amazing it's so funny 
so good though it's just ah oh, it's so clever the way they do everything it's just amazing the other one that this is one of the extras that's the sequel is um the loss of new york i think that's called and um, basically he again gets brought on the trip or another trip and they're about to leave and they forget him in the hotel so it's a kind of the same story um but it's a different story but i love that one as well because um there's a really nice one part with another character in it as you go on it's this homeless lady and it's really really nice really really good need to watch it need to watch the first one first because that's the that's the one that i know gets a lot of laughs i have such memories of watching that with like my family my aunties and stuff like that i'll just sit around and laugh at it it's such a good good film so go watch that movie i'm telling you guys to go watch these movies but you've probably already seen most of them but these are my favorites anyway so whatever so my next one this is number six but not number six on my count it's not a countdown it's just my sixth movie um this is the muppets christmas carol So yes, I know there's a million different ones of A Christmas Carol, like Scrooge, like I said, is a version of it. There's one with Patrick Stewart in it, there's one that Jim Carrey done, the animated one. I mean, there's probably a million of them, but for me, Muppet's Christmas Carol is my favourite. For me, it's the best one. It's the one that's the most child-friendly as well, because it's the Muppets, obviously. It's the one that there's like a whole thing with uh, Gonzo and... The little rat, I can't remember what his name is. And they're like talking to you as you're watching the movie. It's like, it's insane. But um, the whole story goes on and Michael Caine plays Scrooge. And it's just so, so nice. I love it, love it, love it, love it. The songs, that song, um, the one, There Goes Mr. Humbug, that one. That song, I think that's the name. I don't know if that's the name, but probably not the name. But that song always reminds me of like Christmas Day. I don't know why, it makes me get all like tingly even thinking about it. Um, yeah, I love that movie. It's such a, such a good movie. I always have to watch it. Even a few days before Christmas will do. I love that movie. So our seventh movie is going to be Miracle on 34th Street, the 1994 version. So there is two versions of this. There is the 1947 version and there is the 1994. 94? Yes, 94. The year I was born. Um, both versions, really, really good. There's kind of like a bit of a split divide between my, me and my mum when we go to watch these movies. We watch it, whichever one is on, I don't really mind. Um, and I do like the old one as well. For me, I grew up with the new one or the 1994 version. She grew up with the older one, the 1994, 1947 version. And for her, that's her Santa. This is my Santa. So it's it's like a generation thing. So we might watch both or we might watch one, whichever one is on, like I said. And it's basically about this woman who has a daughter in the 1994 version, played by Matilda, basically, um, who kind of has made her daughter not necessarily grow up quickly, but told her some realities of life, told her that marriage isn't always and love isn't always what you think it is, told her basically that Santa wasn't real and she buys the presents and you know all these kind of things says to kids who are watching um, and yeah it's just like it's a bit meh you know what I mean like I, I couldn't imagine growing up like that that would be horrific for me um, so basically she hires she works in a department store and it's the Macy's um, Thanksgiving parade and they need a Santa. Santa is drunk, they need a new Santa. So Santa or what's his name? Chris Kringle. That was his name. He basically comes in as Santa. But there's a whole thing as to whether he is the real Santa. He keeps saying, I am the real Santa. I am Santa. And everyone's like, you're a nut job. You're not the real Santa. Um, and then there's a whole, what you're not expecting is a whole court case happens at some point during this whole thing. So need to go watch it. Really, really good movie. Really good ending to it as well. I love that movie. It's just so nice. I love the, the kind of end of the court case as well. It's so nice the way they do it as well. So yeah, go watch that movie. Oh, this movie. I think this would be my number one. I'm pretty sure this would be my number one. This next movie is My Heart and My Soul at Christmas. It's the best, for me, my favourite Christmas movie. Um, it's The Santa Claus.
So the Santa Claus stars Tim Allen and I grew up with Tim Allen and I grew up with this movie. Oh my god, this movie is my childhood in a movie. I love this movie. He is my Santa. Like of all the Santas there are in movies, he is my one. And oh, I love him. He's so, so good. The story of it is really good. It's basically a guy who is a bit cynical about everything and he has, he's, he's divorced and, or him and his wife are separated and all this kind of stuff and on Christmas Eve it's his turn to have their son and the son stays over and during the night Santa comes and goes on from there basically so you need to watch this movie oh my god yeah it's such such a good film I always cry at the end or like halfway through it as well there's like two moments that I cry at um I love this movie he is my Santa Claus I don't know what else to say and this is the other movie that has sequels, so this one, well, I think a couple of them might have sequels, but this one is one that has sequels um, that are worth watching. So the second one, uh, The Santa Claus 2, is basically, he needs to find a Mrs. Claus. That's kind of all you need to know about that. Um, and they kept the same little boy grown up. Oh, I love when they do that. And it's the same, it's Charlie is a little boy's name. It's Charlie, it's the same Charlie. Oh, I love it. And the last one, the third one, is he has to defeat Jack Frost. So, yeah. Go watch that movie. It is the best. I swear to God, you will not be disappointed in that movie. And what I found out as well, only in the last few years, that when when it's called The Santa Claus, I always assumed it's called The Santa Claus because it's the Santa Claus. It's, it's, he is Santa Claus and that is it. In my world he is anyway. Turns out it's the Santa Claus because it's the Santa Claus because it's a law thing. It's a clause. Yeah, you get it? Now it, it made so much more sense now after that. So yeah, go watch it. It's amazing. So our number nine is going to be The Grinch. So The Grinch is basically How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Dr. Seuss, isn't it? Yes. Um, in Whoville, and it's so much Jim Carrey in it. Not the most recent one, still haven't seen it yet at this moment. I probably will have by the time this video is up, goes up. But for me, I don't think anything is going to beat Jim Carrey's Grinch. So by going into this new Grinch thinking that, I don't think I'm going to be too disappointed because I already know that that's going to be the way it is. So yeah, if you go in expecting it to be better, I'm, you're going to be disappointed, I would say. Jim Carrey's Grinch is the best. It is absolutely the best. It's one of his best performances ever. It's such a good movie. It's so heartfelt. I cry also with that. I cry so easily. It's so weird. But yeah, it's basically how the Grinch stole Christmas. And you need to watch it. And it's hilarious. And the way it's done. And it's done like... Sometimes there's a narrator talking about... Doc like talking like Dr. Seuss. And like, yeah, just go watch. And Taylor Momsen, who's the little girl, grew up to be an emo chick. <laughs> Which is really weird. She's in um, The Pretty Reckless is the name of the band. Yeah. Love their music, but like, it was always sometimes a bit like, oh, wasn't expecting her to turn out like that. But yeah. So go watch that movie. It is amazing. He hates Christmas, but people say he doesn't actually hate Christmas. He hates people, which is valid. But, you know, um, and yeah, you just need to watch it. I'll, I'll end up ruining it. You just need to watch it. Okay, so our last Christmas movie on this list of my Christmas movies, especially the ones of this year, I'm, all, I'm gonna be watching all of these this year, every single one of them, is Elf. Now, Elf is the movie that I watch every Christmas Eve. I watch it either just before I go to bed or in the evening time after I come back from church. And I'm sitting in my new cozy pajamas because I always get my new pajamas on Christmas Eve. And we're having usually a chipper because we can't eat any of the food because it's for Christmas Day. So we usually have a chipper. Um, my mom sometimes falls asleep. And I have a big, huge cup of tea. And I'm just sitting there watching it. And I love it. Or I'm wrapping presents. Either one. I like doing that on Christmas Eve as well. And I love this movie. It's such a festive movie. And for me, it stars Will Ferrell. But for me, this is Will Ferrell's best performance ever. I don't know. I, I, to me, that's his best performance ever. Because it's funny, but really heartfelt. You really feel for him. You really feel all the emotions during this movie. And he, yeah, it's for me, it's, it's my favourite performance of his. It's basically about a 
boy who actually he was an orphan and he, when he was a baby Santa came to the orphanage and he ended up crawling into Santa's sack and going to the North Pole with him and he then grew up as an elf but he's like six foot two or whatever he is and all the elves are like really 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 small um, and he grows up as an elf and he's told then that he's actually not an elf which it's really funny because it's kind of chi he's kind of childlike but in a good way in a funny way and in a realistic way as well and he goes to find his dad his real dad and goes on from there but it's so good it's such he ends up like in New York and like going through all the different things but he grew up as an elf in the North Pole with all the magic and everything. Such a good movie and so I always cry again. I cry a few times during that movie. That's such a sad movie as well. So yeah, go watch Elf. Alrighty guys, so that is my 10 favourite Christmas movies of this year because it could change next year. I might do another one next year, we'll see. Um, it's, these are the ones that I'm going to watch this year. I'll probably watch more than that. I already have watched the kind of real cheese fest like American ones that are like like the Hallmark ones that you, you know the ending already, you know what's going to happen, you already know what's going to happen. Um, those kind of ones, I've watched a few of them already. But these are the ones that for me, they really embody Christmas, they really make me feel so Christmassy, they make me think about my childhood. I have so many memories watching them. I love these movies. So if you did like this video, which I know it's a really different video and it's probably something that no one's going to like that what actually watches my videos. But if you did, I really love these videos and yeah. If you did, give me a big thumbs up below. Let me know in the comments, what are your favourite Christmas movies? You don't have to pick ten, but like any of them, one, two, three, whatever. Tell me what your favourite Christmas movies are. And if you did like this video as well, let me know because I do want to know I do really like these videos. And hit subscribe down below to see some more tutorials. I've got all my Christmas looks coming up soon. Soon as this video is up, it's straight into Christmas uh, looks. So hopefully see you in the next video, guys. Bye!